For chokers are Basque ponies. They seem to be the, uh, the purest remnants of a population that went maybe from the other side of the Pyrenees, southern France, right over to Galicia and Portugal uh, in the Ice Age. Um, most of them are black, but some of them are piebald, and there's a big row about the piebalds. Are they, in fact, uh, really pachocas or not? Now, some die-hard pachoca people say that their grandfathers always say that piebalds come from somewhere else, but if you ask them where from, they, the answers they give are absolutely pathetic, like their crosses with Spanish horses, a well-known piebald breed, or their crosses with uh, Arab horses, another well-known piebald breed. Piebald is actually um, a dominant gene, and it's difficult to see how it would be a dominant gene because it's very disadvantageous, and in nature, dominant genes are, are not disadvantageous. They say it comes from inbreeding, from domestication. You don't create dominant genes by inbreeding. You reveal recessive genes. Um, so where do they come from? I think one clue is that you actually can't see them in the snow. And I think that uh, they could be, it could be actually an ad adaptation to being an Ice Age pony, that they've always been here. Now, that we've, they've shown that in, with spotted ponies, with the leopard gene, which uh, occurs in fossils 25,000 years old and was painted in the caves of Peshmel. The, the horses are painted with spots. In, in Lascaux, there is a painting of a piebald pony. Um, so I believe that it existed 20,000 years ago. I don't believe that man made it up or he suddenly got drunk or he ate a mushroom or something like that. I think he painted what he saw. After the Ice Ages, when there were wolves selecting them up on the mountain. They've actually lost quite a lot of, of piebalds. So the project really has kind of three parts. One is to offer uh, a facility that's actually now unique in Europe. Horses that really do not have any interference. None whatsoever and there's no lies and there's no messing about, and there's no feeding them in the winter. They're, if they live, they live, they die, they die. They're living awfully well at the moment. Secondly, to preserve and recreate this very, very ancient horse. And the third one is that the mountains in Spain used to have very big migrant populations in the summer of cows and goats that come up from the dry bits, transhumans. Um, and they don't anymore because of the stupid paperwork that the European Commission in, involves just does not let them do it. It used to be wonderful. You could see thousands of cows moving up. What's happening is the mountains just get choked with heather and broom, both of which burn very well. Along come the tourists, they smoke cigarettes, they throw them down and go off and we have fires of 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 hectares. Days to put them out. We need animals up on the mountain to uh, keep it clear. But the the Pachoca Association decided, without any genetic basis, that, that piebalds were not pure. So almost everybody sent the piebalds off to, to, to slaughter. And I've got uh, I, what is actually quite a big population now. It makes me terribly sad. I think we should find out first whether uh, the fossils from this area do show the piebald gene, 
and if they do, then, then my intention, frankly, would be to, to try to look at the genetics that's grouped with that piebald gene and try to select within my own population those so that I can actually <laughs> recreate the horse that's painted in Lascaux.